Thank you, Eric. New at 10 tonight, 12 grieving families from around the U.S. share an unfortunate bond, losing a child to suicide. But that's not their only connection. They're also all suing Amazon for selling cheap sodium nitrite, that, the means by which they all died. News for Tucson's Meg Inspector joins us from the newsroom with more on one family that is involved in this lawsuit. Megan. That's right. Ava Passananti passed away in February of 2021 after taking sodium nitrite with the intention of committing suicide. And while her parents tell me that she was battling depression, they're blaming Amazon for selling her this product in the first place. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but a thousand words isn't enough to describe the pain of losing a child. There are not words to describe how... <laughs> How devastating this has been for us. Every day is a nightmare. It's, it's not something that ever gets easier. February 24th, 2021, 18 year old Ava Passananti from here in Tucson took her own life by swallowing sodium nitrite. While her parents are still fighting to keep her memory alive, she was magical. She had this, I don't know, this sparkle. In her eyes. They're also fighting and, an intense um, legal battle with the world's largest online retailer. 99% pure sodium nitrite has no household use and is extremely toxic. Ava was able to purchase this on Amazon for less than 30 bucks. It was really jarring for us to know that how easy it was just for her to get this thing that, that is so lethal. She made the worst mistake, the worst time. I'll and it's just, it's heartbreaking to know that, you know, she just couldn't do anything at that moment. There was no, there was no saving her. She was too far. But Ava's parents aren't the only ones who have suffered this horrible loss and are demanding accountability. We have um, five cases filed against Amazon on behalf of 12 families. And then on top of that, we have... Um, many more cl clients whose cases we still need to file. Negligence is the basis of each lawsuit, arguing Amazon knew about these deaths and continued to sell the product and a profit. We have proof that for at least four years, Amazon continued to sell it after they knew that the primary use was for suicide. But Amazon had opportunity after opportunity, and when I say opportunity, I mean death after death, to correct this problem, to take this listing off of their marketplace, and they didn't. Amazon has since removed the product, but for those 12 families, it's too late. I assure you that they would rather have five more minutes with their children than all of Amazon's assets in the world. 12 families, one goal. We just don't want anybody else to, to have to go through this. Any other kid, kid out there who thinks this is an easy method and an easy way to get this product. And, and um, you know, that's, that's why this lawsuit is so important to us. Early this morning, I sent emails to two Amazon officials asking for a comment on these lawsuits and have not heard back yet. Reporting from the newsroom, Megan Spector, News 4, Tucson. Thank you, Megan. And if you'd like to read more about Ava's story and the full lawsuit, go to our website, kvoa.com. New at 10.